Hi, my name is Anali Galeria and I'm a Solutions Architect here at Databricks. Today in this video, I'll give you a brief overview of what is Databricks Vector Search, why you need it, and how can you get started. Let's assume your team is building an online educational tool for students that is built on unstructured data such as Wikipedia. Using a tool in an interactive way, students can ask questions in natural language and get an appropriate result back in a fast, efficient, and seamless fashion. This is a great use case for retrieval augmented generation, but it needs semantic search capabilities to enhance the precision of the return results without slowing the application down. Databricks Vector Search fits exactly this purpose. It is a serverless similarity search engine that empowers you to enhance the precision of your RAG and generative AI applications. As an integral component of the Databricks Data Intelligence Platform, with Vector Search, you can create incremental indexes from the data already stored in your lake house using a low latency production service. Unity Catalog integration guarantees fast and secure access for your GenAI applications. It has a simpler interface, making it easy to query the vector indexes. You can use both REST API and a Python client. This ultimately helps you to deliver accurate and reliable responses for your GenAI applications. Now let's jump to a quick demo. This is the Databricks Catalog Explorer, where you can quickly and seamlessly discover, manage all of your data assets, such as schemas, tables, models, functions, and other AI assets. For this use case, the team has already ingested several Wikipedia articles and stored it in a delta table called en underscore wiki underscore chunked. Let us quickly glance at the data. This data set has a column called ID that uniquely identifies a row in the data set. It also has a column called chunk that has the text data for the titular wiki pages. This is already looking great. Now let's go ahead and create a vector search indexes from the menu on the right hand side. This will open up a new screen and here you can provide an appropriate name for your indexes. I'm going to call it as wiki underscore chunk underscore index. Next, I'm going to provide ID as the primary key and then proceed to choose the vector search endpoint that will compute the indexes. I've already created one and I'm going to choose the same. Please note, if you need to create one, you can also click on the compute option on the left hand side and navigate to the vector search option. From here, click on the create on the right hand side, give it an appropriate name and then hit confirm. That's how easy it is to create a vector search endpoint on Databricks. Let's go back to the previous screen. Here, I'm going to choose to compute the embeddings as my embedding source. This is so that Databricks can compute the embeddings. If you already have a delta table with computed embeddings, you can select the other option instead. Now I'm going to provide the column that I want to create the embeddings on. For this data set, it is the column called chunk. Next is choosing an embedding model. You can choose any model, including the Databricks foundational models. For the demo purposes, I'm using a small locally hosted embedding model called E5 small. Finally, because I want to keep the indexes in sync with my source delta table and have only seconds worth of latency, then I'm going to choose the continuous mode. If you do not need a continuous sync streaming pipeline and you're okay with a triggered mode, then you can choose that instead. Once you hit create, a computation will execute in the background, completely serverless and compute the indexes on the data that already existed in your lake house. Remember, you can create the indexes using an API or a Python SDK instead of a UI if needed. You can monitor the status of the pipeline directly from your screen. 
my team has already created vector indexes so i'm going to explore that instead it provides metadata including source table rows that have been indexed vector search endpoint and so on and because it is integrated with unity catalog you can define permissions easily now the indexes are ready and we can start running the queries i'm going to quickly jump to a new notebook here after making the necessary installations i'm going to configure it to use the vector search compute endpoint I will also provide the vector search index I just created and include the information such as catalog schema and the source table. Now let's quickly run a similarity search query. Let's see if this can give us information about classical crease period and signs. There you go. It returned two results. That was fast. These results have a similarity score of around 75%. Let's open one of these and see what are the results. Yes, it certainly does look Greek to me. All you need to do now is plug this API call to your application UI and start asking some questions. So today we saw how easily you can create a seamless embedding workflow with Databricks Vector Search to build into your GenAI applications, keeping it simple, performant, and efficient. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account team or the Vector Search team at vector-search-feedback at Thank you.